guys Daniel here again from Writer Zen welcome to another video it's about tutorial series of Writer Zen uh, in today's videos I'll be sharing with you about our um, AESKP configuration uh, it's one of our main function of the two uh, keyword explorer um, the reason why we have to separate it out is because we believe this is one of the more important features in which it deserves a separate videos to explain for you um, for one the purpose uh, of the, of, of this of this uh, function and secondly how it could benefit for your workflows uh, and the way you could work surrounding collaboration with your team your partners your clients um, and also for your future planning um, all right so let's get right into it so ESKP stand for estimate sales per keyword position uh, essentially what it is is that it rises from the pain point where we as the agency have faced over the last 10 years of uh, us working with multiple kind of clients um, one of the key, one of the main questions in which everyone would been always ask us was um, was the fact that okay um, you are showing us this list of keywords that you will be doing SEO uh, how much are we getting in return um, unlike at Right, you can't really particularly measure in dollar cents uh, for your clients or your partner or your team um, the strategy in which you are trying to protect. So, right. So, uh, for example, if you have a, a list of keywords that you run a Google ads or Facebook ads on, right away you kind of have a sense of how much you will get in return in terms of revenue, because with with money spent on ads, um, it, the return in revenue are almost instant. Uh, yeah, on the on the other hand, uh, SEO wise is is the long term planning, right? It usually take six to eight months in order for you to finish um, any SEO planning, and even by the end of that, uh, the result may not turn out exactly the way you want, and the result here should be measured by you by by dollar, right? By revenues, um, and that's the problems we run into when we were working with so many clients and even with our team member and our shareholders, uh, we have to be able to convince them in in um, in dollar sense this strategy makes sense right um, and also we wanted always to have a, a, a financial projections uh, sort of in a way um, financial projections uh, helps you to kind of planning ahead um, your expectation as well knowing that if you would be able to achieve a certain goals how much money you will get in return and whether or not that will actually meet your goal right um because generally you would have a certain financial goal you want to meet before you start any sort of campaign and uh, not knowing that walking into a certain planning it will just be kind of uh, uh shooting yourself in the foot right so that's the reason why we develop a tool a tool called estimate sale per keyword position uh it's pretty self-explanatory essentially it's just a tool to help you figure out um how much money you may get in terms of conversion in return when you rank uh, top uh, with a certain keyword right um, so uh, in order to do like for example if you have a you have a website generally you would have um, first of all your CTR meaning that if you rank a certain keyword what is the percentage of people who see it and then they click on it right um, if you rank on top one generally this percentage will go up to about 30 to 35 percent Rank top two, it dropped down to about 20%, uh, uh, top three, 18%. So um, it keep dropping as the ranking position um, going downward, right? So you would have that number. And the second number you would have is conversion rate. So conversion rate essentially means that with the amount of traffic that go into your website, how many of them actually convert into sales, convert into clients, convert into whatever measurement that you were making. And then how much money usually um, you will earn from each of this conversion is also a number in which you know um, as business owner or website owner right so those are the three um, key data on which you always have to have in order to kind of measure this type of financial projection at least in the estimate sense right so let's walk right into the two so essentially what the two is um, here is um, as I scroll down um, the button is right over here. So right now, let's say I have a keyword list of 3,233, A uh, First step usually I will have to do is I have to filter out this keyword to to get uh, get them to a list of keyword in which I know I will use. And let's say you do all the filtering, you do all the planning, you did already your golden filter and everything and you have a, a list of very decent keyword. Let's try today um, a list of, of keyword. Um, let's do a golden 
let's do a golden scoring maybe like one or something right oh here all right let's do a ranking probability by one let's say i just want a list of keyword that could have a very high ranking probability to top one so i will have about 759 keywords right let's say applied so now your keyword list from 3200 uh go down to 759 keywords right and let's say that i want to uh start my seo strategy on this 759 keyword only um and i want i really want to know okay if i could rank on all of these keywords what is the revenue that i may get in return right if if all these keywords could rank in top 10 top 5 top 3 or top 1 right so i'm going to scale down my picture here so you simply click on eskp so as you can see it's pop out on the right side of the screen um sort of like this this big report page and what it does is that um you will now be able to fill in um those data which you know and we'll do the rest of the work in which we'll help you calculate on this list of keyword right let's say over here you got the ctr percentage um you will fill in this number we're, right now we're kind of placing what we believe is the average of the market um you could actually click on this button and it will bring you to uh sort of like based on our research uh and it's a ctr benchmark in 2021 on the different industry and you could actually compare different industry here you have um these are all the list of industry right and as you can see you could simply look at here and you see law and government finance hobbies leisure business industrial um so we get all this um research done and kind of lay it down so as you can easily uh process through right let's say right now we just keep the ctr as it is here and so the ctr for top one um it buys our own our research is 31.7 percent top three is 18.6 percent top five is 5.9.5 and top 10 is three percent right um and the next number you want to fill in is your conversion rate so um do you uh this one is the number in which you have to figure out based on your analytic uh from your uh, from google analytic or google search console and you have to figure out exactly that okay uh, with uh, what is your conversion rate uh, based on the amount of traffic they get into your website right let's say i'm going to put it here a 2.5 percent um average revenue per conversion meaning that all right so based on let's say what uh, 100 traffic get to your site uh 2.5 of them convert into buyer so 2.5 percent um how much uh revenue do you gain per each of those conversion right so you will have to give uh, like an average number of this let's say i make 30 dollar per each of the conversion um that will go into the website right and then um, this expected revenue per month meaning that the amount of revenue you would wish to have uh per monthly basis um generally i think i would want let's say if i have a keyword list like this i would really want about twenty thousand dollar right so as you key in right away um the the report will be generated right so let's say right now the report generated by top one so as you can click here top one top three top five or top ten right so let's say you click uh, top three right and um you will see here if all of these keywords the all 759 keywords would rank in top three you will get an estimate traffic of eight thousand six hundred and twenty five uh per month right and um you will get about 215 uh, 16 um estimate sales you will get about six thousand four hundred eighty uh per your revenue if you all rank in top three and that would be about thirteen thousand off from your initial goal of twenty thousand right so if you look at this list and you're like oh wow so if i gain all of this position in top three uh i will only earn about six either uh gaining getting more keywords in regard to this one or expand my list of keywords or getting more keyword um in relate to this topic so that i could rank on 
more and gain more revenue because this amount of keywords won't get me the amount of money in which I was planning to have right and and when you most of the clients when they look at the list of keywords they will actually ask this question right because at the end of the day it's all about revenue um and and financial projection you have to project ahead of time how much money you will be able to to earn estimated estimatedly um in regard to your planning right so these are these are very cool way for you to kind of um work around your seo strategy planning right you have um i mean this is just a short list and you can i mean essentially what you do is this is um this is one of the list what you can do is you also could go to topic discovery put in nutrition plan and start looking at a bunch of other related subtopic and you could actually add in let's say you have a um nutrition plan shredded even you know that would be a no, let's say fitness nutrition plan. All right, that's the that's a keyword you could play around, and you could do it here. Oh, it's not many search volume for this one, so you may not want to take on this one. But yeah, um, I mean, I suggest that you would go and um, start looking for more keyword, or even expand. Let's say you instead of one now, you go to ten. So look for all the keywords that have potential to rank in top 10 um, and then you upline. So depends on the way you filter. So the moment you upline, now that you have about 1,864 keywords um, and with it's the same amount of, um, with the same sort of numbers, you, you plug, the data you plug in here, you will actually be able to, to, uh, to achieve $24,000 in revenue per month if you could all rank in top three. If you go in top one, the numbers change dramatically. You will actually be earning $40,000 um, of your estimate revenue if you could rank on all these keywords, right? So these are really good sort of like quick, fast, easy tool to play around with as you are planning for your, um, for your SEO strategy. Um, it's very important to have this in mind, really. Um, it's really important when you go into any new planning for any new website to uh, gain a financial projection sort of a, a, a world point of view uh, before you actually um, shooting in um, the to, for execution part, right? Uh, having this in mind, now you at least have an estimation like, okay, if I have all this 1,800 and if I go to top five, I still, oh, I, st I can't really make it over here. So I got to go to top three, right? But what if I go to top four? Top four, maybe I will make it a $20,000 of est expected revenue. So a very simple, easy to use uh, sort of uh, tool um, you could play around with. Again, this helped greatly on your planning, your um, the way you could uh, work around in explaining this to your partners, uh, co collaborate with your partners, your potential clients, um, your team member, and also even for your own business. Uh, planning and if you see because if any list of keyword that you think that it has potential you also have to make it into this measurement and if you if the keyword like the projection um, the revenue uh, potential in future you will now have to kind of change that plan and um, probably add on more keyword or take out more keyword depending on how you would look at the strategy all right so that's the that's that you click apply and uh, it'll appear here we'll actually give you um, the number of sales if you for per each of the keyword uh, over here and you probably could do this and you'll start seeing like oh wow this keyword this keyword is great actually 1000 calorie diet you have search volume of 9900 uh workout for so it's a it's a long tail keyword eskp so potential if you rank top one top three you can get about 47 conversion um all entitled is only zero and golden score is one which is a great great keyword you see, as you see here, you see like some of the keywords that are very, very potential and they are great for, um, for, for targeting. Gain weight, weight gain meal plan for females. So very specific, very targeting. Um, 2009 volume, uh, word count six, so it's long tail keyword. Um, you have ESKP 14, uh, all in title four and golden score of one, right? So another way for you to play around with the filter just uh, kind of give it a try, and then uh, you, I'm sure you will. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to to figure out a great way to actually plan a more concrete plan for your SEO strategy. So good luck with that, and uh, see you in the next tutorial videos. Thank you for listening in.